Ladies and gentlemen, we will now demonstrate to you how ultrasound guided sacroiliac joint injection is performed. This is the schematic diagram of the sacrum. In the ultrasound guided sacroiliac joint injection, the curvilinear transducer is recommended because it can cover a wider cross section of the scanned area as compared with the linear transducer. Similar to the caudal epidural injection, the patient is placed in a prone position. The transducer is placed in a transverse orientation to identify the sacral hiatus first. After identifying the sacral corneal, the transducer is then moved in a lateral direction like this until the lateral edge of the sacrum is observed. With the transducer still maintained in the transverse orientation, it is then, mo it is then moved in a cephalate position until the second bony contour of the ilium is identified. The cleft between the bony contours of the sacrum and the ilium represents the lower third of the sacroiliac joint. Because of its synovial component, this is the portion of the joint in which the injection should be performed. Similar to the caudal epidural injection, the patient pursues the prone position with extra towels or pillow positioned in front of the pelvis to increase the pelvic tilt. Again, similar to the caudal epidural injection, the probe is positioned in a transverse orientation to identify the sacral hiatus first. After identifying the sacral hiatus, the probe is then moved in a lateral position until the lateral edge of the sacrum is observed. Then the probe is moved in a upward or cephalate direction until you see the sacroiliac joint. We will now start our ultrasound guided sacroiliac joint injection to the left side. After we have identified the exact location of the sacroiliac joint, we can now start our injection procedure. During the injection, the injection needle is approached from medial to lateral. In other words, it is in a medial to lateral approach like this. The curvy linear transducer is used to identify the sacral hiatus first and then the transducer is moved in a lateral direction until the lateral edge of the sacrum is observed. Then the transducer is moved in a cephalate direction until the sacroiliac joint is observed. This is the sacroiliac joint at the left side and then the injection needle will be approached in this direction to inject the injectant into the sacroiliac joint. As you can see here, the injection needle is approached from the medial to the lateral direction into the sacroiliac joint 
and we will start the injection now. This completes our sacroiliac joint injection via ultrasound guidance to the left side.